Hello and welcome to the top 5 most annoying Dungeons Bombs Royale. At number 5, we have the rubber gun. The rubber gun is annoying for a couple of reasons, one being that it is extremely hard to miss your shots. This means that anyone can use the gun and it is more luck than it is skill. There is no accuracy needed when using the rubber gun and it is very annoying to push and play passive against. At the number 4 spot, we have Cactus Grenades. The annoying thing about Cactus Grenades isn't just people fighting with them, it's that they are equally as scary while using them. The damage possibility that Cactus Grenades have is insane. Not only are they the only weapon that can kill you instantly while at 100 health, they have the possibility to kill you at max health. That means you have a low possibility that you could instantly kill yourself. Cactus Nades are very annoying. Number 3. The P90 and the Vector I put these two weapons together because they are so similar to each other that they are basically the same weapon. These weapons are annoying because all they do is spray. Again, there is not much skill needed, just aim in the general direction, shoot, and the gun will do the rest. The reason these SMGs are more annoying than the other SMGs or ARs is because the fire rate is extremely high. They do damage super fast and at a distance they have a wide range which makes it luck again. The number 2 spot on this list is the minigun. The minigun is an extremely annoying gun to fight against. It's basically a bot gun which means you'll rarely find someone good at the game using it. The lower leveled players use it, this gun because it's easy to use, doesn't take any skill, shoots fast, and has a big clip. The number one most annoying gun is the flamethrower. The flamethrower, in my opinion, is the most annoying Zomzara weapon. It has way too much range, a huge magazine of 50, and every bullet that hits does 11 damage plus the burn damage of 2 damage per second, and has an extremely fast fire rate. One thing that makes it more annoying than the minigun is that it takes a lot less time to reload along with the burn damage. Overall, a very annoying gun that is basically impossible to fight without taking at minimum 30 damage.